This is a Somos community care testing site. And since the start of the pandemic, they have tested more than 340,000 New Yorkers and 42% of those tests came back positive. Now they're using their data to issue some of their own recommendations for going back to school. First year in high school. Maritza Melendez said her son wants to go back to the classroom for his first year in high school, but she's worried because she just recovered from coronavirus and doesn't want to see anyone she loves go through that again. My son saw I was really sick and so, you know, he wears his mask, he uses his hand sanitizer, always washing his hands, but that's just him. There's other children that are not going to do the same thing. So she's still suffering after being out of work for more than a month. I had pneumonia. I had to go to the ER. I went to um, City MD a couple of times and still to this day, I still have problems with my lungs. What if he comes home and his father and I get it? You know, it's, it's scary. Like so many parents, Melendez came to hear what these doctors are recommending to ease her fears. Somos Community Care is a network of 2,500 doctors providing health care for Medicaid patients. These pediatricians are asking for all students to be tested, effective contact tracing in schools, access to the internet for all, or have lessons aired on TV, and a daily distribution of masks and cleaning supplies. Founder of SOMOS, Dr. Ramon Talaj, suggests sending kids with antibodies back to the classroom first. Keep testing them periodically and blood to be sure that immunity remains. The mayor's office has responded to SOMOS's recommendations, and they're saying the Department of Education will be handing out masks as well as cleaning supplies. In Washington Heights, Calorama, PIX11 News.